at the beginning, you got happy customer who enjoying your high quality service. From time to time, your business grows more and more customer using your services. They may receive some inconsistency of your service. So to solve this problem, you need to add some hardware, add some infrastructure to your company to support your team to provide better quality service. And more importantly, you need to enhance your working procedure, introduce business workflow that is improve the quality, and this make the differences between more company and a good company. So after everything in place, you, your customer are happy again, and your business grow even faster. To do that, you need to understand what your process. So we understand what is as this process is what you doing the things today, how to deliver the service, how you produce the goods, and understanding the as this process is the stepping stone for you to analyze and to improve your business process. So we call this is a to be process. To be process is an upgraded version of your existing process. So you can analyze what is changed, what need to enhance, to offer better quality service to our customers. So let's see how Fisher Product to help you to develop assets and to be business process. Here is a very simple online shopping business process. The customer will place the order by sending the purchase order to us. And then the sales representative will check the stock level. If there is a sufficient stock, we will pack the goods and ship the goods and the order complete and send the invoice to the customer. If the stock is not enough, then we will suggest the customer to change the quantity or uh, to change other stuff. So we create the change PO and the process start again. So it is what we're doing today. So to improve this process. We need to understand how we do the work, and this process we showing very clearly how we do the stuff. The next step is to create a to be process. The first step is to create a model to accommodate the current assets process. Then we can clearly separate the assets and to be process. You just right click on the on the model explorer and go to the model, and you can new the assets process model. And then you add the business process diagram to the assets process by right click, and go to the sub diagram item and add existing diagrams. I take the assets diagram, assets process, and now the assets process is moved inside the assets process model. And the next step is we right click on the empty area of the diagram, and go to the utilities. And to create the to be process, let's just create. And then now we create the to be process. You see, this is a to be process. It's exactly same as the assets process because the assets process is the stepping stone. It just like copy and paste. So let's try to improve the process. Instead of doing everything from the sales representative, we can add another role. We just add a link. And then name it where house, and we want to put some things, pack the goods and ship the goods to warehouse to do to improve the efficiency of the workflow. So we just drag it to the warehouse and position it better in the center of the pool. And we also want to change in because after check the sufficient stuff, it go to pack the goods. It's not enough. We need to have something to do before, so we insert the task between the pack the goods and check sufficient stock. Stock. We just click the connector and then split with a shape. We just split with a task called request pack goods, something like that, and then we can position it in the diagram. So now the process changed to. Representative check the stock and then will request the pack of the goods, and then the warehouse will start packing goods, ship the goods. So it's really improve the turnaround times of the whole process. 
So let's go back to see our assist process. You see this is an assist process and this is a to be process and they act like just two copies. And what is the linkage between them? Say if you have a pack goods in the to be process, you want to know where is this task in the assist process. You can use the transitor. You see the transitor on the right bottom corner. Then you click, you see where it is come from. It is come from assist process, pack goods. Then I just go back. Then it send me back to the assist process to see who doing this task in the assist process, in current business process. Okay, you can also go another way around from the ship goods. You can also go to see who will doing this work in the to be process, in the future enhance the process. So you can see the transit tool and the to be process, you just click. We will send you to the to be process and select the shipping ship goods in the warehouse department. So you can see the linkage. And this is a micro analyze. How about we want to know what is the differences between assets and to be in the big pictures. You can use the whistle div. You just go to the modeling and then go to the whistle div. You can expand the whistle div dialog box by clicking the expand button. Then it will maximize to the full screen. And then you can select the comparison strategy of the whistle div. You have ID, name, and transitor. And basically, we compare the SSN to be process. We need to use the transitor. As I showed you before, we record the transit from and to. And then the left one, my preferences is left is the access process and the right you remember to check the use working project the right is the to be process then now you see both the diagrams are showing and um, side by side I'm just making more space and you can select what is changed say the warehouse you see in the to be process the warehouse is the new one so you see the new bracket new and the self representative, you see the pack goods is modified. It is on the right hand side, is under the warehouse. On the left hand side, is under the sales representative. And actually, you can see in more details in text. You see the parent changed it of the pack goods. It's from sales representative to the warehouse. So you got all the details. And the request pack goods is the new task we just created in the to be process. So this you can compare automatically by using the official product rather than rather than just use your eye to compare two diagrams and spend the whole afternoon to sort it out what is the differences. Thank you very much for watching this video.